Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to the J. Anthony YouTube channel. J. Anthony right here checking in with you. So today, I'm trying to get this burgundy step side ready. Uh, one thing I want to say before we get this video going, guys, I need you to wish my baby cousin and give him some encouragement as he get ready to go back off in the school, man. So y'all drop in the comments, man. Give him some encouragement, man. He been shooting all the videos this summer. So keep that in mind. Uh, this is his last video he will be shooting. So let him know he, how he's done this summer and give him some encouragement going into the new year. Also, I want to let you know, guys, we're about to hit 4,000 subscribers. I need you guys to be sharing, liking, and subscribing, of course. If you're a new watcher, welcome to the channel. Uh, like I say, man, get in those comments. Let my baby cousin know how he's been doing, man. I think he's been doing great. I think he's been doing good, but we need some feedback, man, and he needs some encouragement, man. We need that for him. But, uh, man, sit back, grab popcorn. Let's get it. All right, y'all. Welcome back. So we're about to get the day jumping, man. So what I'm about to do, I'm about to take these 20s right here. And we're going to put them on the step side, man. Y'all was getting in the comments. And y'all was saying that I should put the 20s onto the step side, right? So that's what we're going to do, man. We're going to put these 20s on there. They look good, man. Another thing I like about them is that they got that, uh, they got that all-terrain look. You know what I'm saying? And I think they're going to look good. Let's go put them next to this truck. What I really need to do is uh, stop being slow, and I need to pull the truck up right here. Hold on now. So y'all know, this is the truck I'm talking about. So we got the truck back from Pain Body. It only took him like five days, man. So what we end up doing is, I think he just went ahead and painted, painted the whole truck from here up, and then gave it a good buffing, because it looks good now. Let's take a quick walk around the truck before we move this thing. Look at the truck, man. Nice truck. Y'all know this was the main problem right here was this front bumper. I told you guys it looked just fine. You can't let little stuff like that scare you. And another main thing was the dash. We went ahead and fixed this dash, right? Dash looks good now. We in business. So all of that was cracked up, man. All of that was tore up. Uh, it's good now. So uh, let me pull it around here so we can get these wheels on here. Can't wait to see how this thing look when we put these 20s on there. This is before I sand and buff it. I mean, this is before I wax it. It's already been sand and buffed and polished. You notice it looks darker now? I hate that noise, man. I'm fixing that belt. I hate that noise. That noise is annoying, man. I, I, I That's going to bother me, man. I, I would not sell that truck like that. I got to fix that noise. I hate when they make that noise. All right, so... This is the look we're going for, man. Check me out, man. Check me out. Check me out. I'm going to give y'all an idea of what I'm looking like. Okay. Y'all get the picture, man. All right. So, of course, it's already going to look like this size wheel and tire is already on this truck because you got these big tires already on there. What you think, man? Nice. <laughs> look good, man. It's gonna look nice. It's gonna give it a different look. That that same old stock look gets boring sometimes. You know what I'm saying? What you think? Yeah. It needs it. The step side don't do nothing but compliment it. These tires gonna compliment it. Yeah, we talking about a nice and clean truck, man. So yeah, guys, we'll uh we'll see y'all at the tire shop, man. Let's see what this thing look like. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people underestimate the. You see how that noise is gone now? 
because the truck done warmed up a little bit, that noise go away, man. So <clears throat> that noise get on my nerves, though, dog. Get on my nerves, dog. On my last nerve, boy. That ain't nobody, guys. We ain't got nothing to worry about. I'm still thinking about the price on this truck, too. I don't know yet. I haven't seen no step size on the market lately. I seen one, but uh, it had a rebuilt title. And he wanted 10000 for it. And it wasn't as clean as that. Ooh, them wheels and tires nice. How much y'all think I paid for these, man? What y'all think, man? What, what, what a wheel like this, what is it worth? What is that worth to you? So I got the wheels with the tires, not only just regular tires, all-terrain tires. What you think, man? Drop in the comments what you think I paid, and I'll let you know if it's valid or not. Hey, and I don't, I don't want to hear no crazy talk about how I threw these tires in here. The only reason why I threw them in here like that is because it's a narrow bed. That's the only thing about the step side. You lose a little bit of bed. So normally your bed will come out to like right here. Now you only got a little bit. And, and the person who got in the comments last video, I appreciate your insight on this bumper that helped me out. I call, I make sure I call my body guy and I made sure he knew that. Hey man, don't try to go and slap a regular six and a half foot bed bumper on this truck. I made sure I called him. So I appreciate that insight because I ain't gonna lie, I didn't even think of that. But we ended up getting that worked out. It didn't cost me more either. We 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 in the green. So we're about to run over here to the tire store, man, so we can get this thing right. And uh, we'll see y'all over there, man. One thing I like about <laughs> buying and selling used vehicles, man, I be finding some dope shades, man. Like, a lot. I'm finna throw these bad boys on right now because these are dope. What y'all think of them, man? I like that wood, look at that wood finish on them jokers. I just found them right now, man. I'm about to swap out, making sure everything fine and dandy down there. By the way, guys, the tire store is right down the street from me. Like, literally, like, not far at all. Yes, I'm driving with my knee. What y'all think of them, man? <laughs> Brand new shades, man. <laughs> They got that wood finish. Hey, what brand is this? I don't I don't know what brand this is. If y'all know what brand this is, drop that in the comments too. I don't know. I can't see. I don't know what that is though. Alright, we'll see y'all in a second, man. Nice. Good deal. I do gotta change out this tail light though. Both of these tail lights cracked up real good. I think they came in the mail earlier though. I hope they did. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them tires and wheels though that's off that truck, cause they not bad, man. What y'all think I should do with these? Look, them some good tires. I really wanted to keep them on here, guys. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm probably gonna leave it with the truck though. I think that's a good deal. What y'all think? Give somebody a better deal. Lead a factory wheel with the truck. Even though these ain't matching tires, but they're good tires. I think I'm gonna give. You, I think I'm gonna give people a good deal, man. That's that's fair. Yeah, we're gonna do it like that. It's gonna look pretty though. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna look pretty. Oh yeah. All right guys, so right now I'm in an auction in Murrieta, California. I'm waiting on this truck right here. It's a GMC, it's coming up next, so I gotta be quick showing y'all. It's got a rear sliding window right here. 
But it's got a lot of damage, man. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, it's probably hard for y'all to see this. It's got a lot of damage, though. They showing dents and stuff. But that's what I'm sitting on here waiting on right here, man. I don't know what it's gonna go for. I can't really guess. Here it is right here. So it's already at 45, 47, 5, 52, 55, 57, 6, 62, 65, 7, 72. I'm not buying that truck for that much because I'm already have 10 grand in it before I even touch it. That's good, man, but I can find it. I, I, I figured I'd get that truck for like 5,000, but y'all see, man, these trucks ain't cheap, man. Look, truck selling for, they finna damn near run it up to 10,000. Okay, it's probably gonna stop right there, 8250. So I'm, I'm good on that truck, but I would have paid like five for it, maybe six. Could have probably paid seven and got away with it, but if I would have paid 8250 for that truck, look, I'm gonna show you, man. Look, if I would have paid 8250, I'm gonna have to repaint and reconstruct the whole truck, and I gotta get it shipped from Cali. So that's 1200 plus another. 1200 let's say I put 2400 back into it. I'm already gonna have 11, 12,000 in the truck. It's a $15,000 truck, but you can't give a deal on it. Right now, the market is about deals, man. You gotta be able to give a deal on something. That truck, you can't really give no deal on. I will, if I was to buy that truck, I would wanna be able to sell it, put it at 15, and be able to move around on the price to like 14 and some change, maybe, you know? But. If I'ma have already 13, 12 grand in the truck, I can't do that no more. You know, so you gotta step back. But I like for y'all to see that so y'all know. When y'all see crew cabs, them prices high, dog. Them prices ain't cheap on them crew cabs, fully loaded, Z71. You're gonna have to pay for it, man. That's that truck, you're gonna see it on the retail side, 15, 16,000. 149,000 miles. Two owners. Accident reported. Retail value is 12,000. That dealer is gonna have twelve thousand in it himself, so he gonna have retail in it. So you gotta pay more than retail for it if you want it. GMT eight hundred game, man. But let's get busy on the step side, dog. We're gonna show y'all the. It's not gonna be the finished product today, but we're gonna show y'all a, a good touch of it. Y'all stay tuned, man. What y'all think, man? Of course, I still gotta change out them headlights and fog lights, but I'd say it looked pretty good. And I still gotta put the Z71 stick on there, all that good stuff. She looking good though. These are my favorite ones, man. My, the, 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 the projects. <laughs> you get to do what you want with it. Look at that truck, man. Get a good look at that thing, man. Can't go wrong with them Texas editions, man. At all. Man, them headlights gonna make a big difference. But I'm letting you look at it raw and uncut, man. So I gotta put them fog lights in there and, them, and that missing hole, you'll see that hole right down there. I put the fog lights in there, put them clear headlights in there. It's gonna be a whole different other ball game. But that truck's straight though, everything there. That bumper make a big difference. Make a big difference. It's nice, man. Real nice. All right, man, let me go put the headlights in. Y'all stay tuned, man. Have to throw these headlights on real quick. And I actually got my fog lights in Grand Prairie. So we gotta make a run to Grand Prairie before we can get into, get into that. I love how it's simple, man. Y'all seen me changing some cat eye headlights, but even with the 99 to 02, it's simple as well. I think that little piece just fell out. Let me make sure that ain't nothing crazy. <clears throat> this is the piece that go right here too. I thought it was at least, we'll keep that right there so we don't lose nothing. But yeah, I like how simple it is with these trucks, man. That ain't nothing crazy. See with them new trucks, you got to take the grill off. <laughs> you got to take the grill off. I got to make sure to dry that off before I put them other ones in too. 
Man, you gotta take the grill off. You gotta take the whole front bump off just to change the headlights and the fog lights. Back in the day, they made it simple for you to, hey, it's plug and play. Everything was plug and play. Can y'all believe when I first used to buy these trucks, I used to pay somebody to do this? I was so hands off. I didn't even realize how easy it was. And guess what? The guy I used to pay, he didn't tell me either. He just kept on taking my money. I was a rookie in the game, though. That's what happened when you're a rookie in the game. Check this out. And then just like that, you got a fresh set. Boom! Make a big difference, don't it? Big difference on these old Chevys, man. I love it. I love it. I love it. That's crazy. You get that? That's crazy what them clear headlights do, for real. But when I put them fog lights, it's really going to pop. Them fog lights, you can't sleep on them fog lights. Because, see, you can leave it like that. You could get away leaving it like this. Ain't nobody really going to notice. But that's what helps you in the details of the rest of the truck. I never see people who change out them fog lights on this 99 to 02. Even the cat eye, they don't change out the fog lights. It's all about the details, man. I even did it on this truck right here. Change out them fog lights, man. Change out the headlights, change out the fog lights. Little details, you know what I'm saying? But let me run over here to Grand Prairie so I can get these fog lights because I'm ready to bring this truck out. All right, y'all, so we went and got what we needed from Grand Prairie. I should have double checked and made sure this was the right package. Sorry I didn't get the live footage, man. Uh, I left my camera here at the shop. This should be the fog lights, though. So this is the last thing that I ordered that should have came today. I got two more things that's supposed to come today. Yeah, I just open stuff. I don't play out. I don't play out there. All the extra, man. I open stuff up. Let me see. Let me. Come on now. Come on now. Yes, that's what we need right there. Oh yeah. That's like gold right now. That's gold. Okay, also, we had got something else. Something else that's super important. So this was there too. So I don't know if y'all remember, uh, I was I was explaining to you guys how uh, about a month or two ago, I sold a truck. I bought it out of California and I sold it here in Texas. And they sold it to me with no title. So I didn't know that in California, you basically don't have to have a title to sell a vehicle. So they can give you the forms to go get a title and sell you the vehicle. It's 100% legal. I didn't know that. And the auction did not make me aware of that. So here I have uh, some mail from Rush Title Processing out of California, which is great, great news. This I'm more excited about this than I am anything today. You know what I'm saying? This, this, is, really, this is really the goal for the day. You know what I'm saying? This right here, so now I got to send them a check for $72 and then we good. So problem solved here. So good thing is that it only cost me $72. Bad thing, flaw is that it took me like two weeks to get this taken care of. So I just want to throw this inside of the video, man, because this is the side of the car business that you got to always keep your eyes open to, man, because this paperwork right here, this could have got me in some big trouble just from not knowing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I've bought plenty of vehicles out of California and sold them here in Texas, but this is my first time buying one without a title and not knowing it. The auction is supposed to announce it. This is a mistake on the auction side, and it's also a mistake on my side for assuming that there was a title. Because when you go in and buy something wholesale, you don't think about a title. You're buying it from a third party. Like, I bought it from the auction. I'm not worried about the title. Title come to me whenever they get it. Because majority of the time when we buy a vehicle, in wholesale, guys, the, the auction does not have the title yet. So, uh, yeah, but good news right here, man. But let's move on to these fog lights, dog. All right, y'all, so headed over here. Show y'all the almost finished. It's not finished yet. This is not completed. We still got to detail it. We still got to put on the Z71 stickers. Well, it's just one sticker, really. It's a Z71 sticker on the 
What is it? The passenger side or the driver's side? Check out them fog lights, though. Don't that make a difference, though? Look at that. Look at that. Nice truck. Beautiful truck. So, y'all already seen the headlights, but now you're getting to look at them fog lights, man. That make a big difference on a truck. A lot of people have missed that now. Okay, so it's the driver's side. We got the one on the passenger side. So, I just got to slap this Z71 sticker on. Boom. I think that just came in. Then I got to slap these tail lights on. The, the tail lights not going to be here till Wednesday, though. But we're good other than that. You know, truck ready to go for the most part. Okay. Now, um, give me until Thursday, Friday to have this truck completed, man. Um, I'm thinking between, I'm thinking 10, 950 for this truck. Let me know what you think in the comments. I don't think I'm going to put it up past 11. I, I, the only reason why I say that is because at the end of the day, it is a 2001, so I know the market is going to kind of be a little skeptical on that, but it's a step side. You know, it's going to pull out that crowd of people who want a step side. The only reason why I kind of want to bump the price up on it is because it has that cleanliness I know that can attract an older gentleman who likes the step side because you got to understand something about the step side that normally attracts an older gentleman or somebody who specifically wants a step side. Like, I like the step side. Like, a lot of cats in Louisiana, Shreveport, you know, over there, Monroe, they love the step side. So I know this truck has that cleanliness to advertise to the picky person who wants the step side is what I'm saying. So that's kind of why I want to bump it up. But I think I'm going to put it at 10 on 50 I'm thinking that's fair. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments of that price. Truck has 152,000, I believe. 152,000, something like that. Um, clean truck overall, though. LT, fully loaded truck, four wheel drive. Can't miss it. But uh, in the meantime, man, I really appreciate the support. Like I say, we're about to hit 4,000 subscribers. So if you could, share this channel to your buddy. Let him know I'm out here selling these trucks, advertising these trucks, and doing reviews on these trucks. If they in the cars, hey, let them know. I, sometimes I buy older cars, sometimes I buy Corvettes, whatever. This is an automotive channel, 100%. Somebody who really loves cars and trucks. But in the meantime, man, please like and subscribe. Also, guys, get in the comments. Give my baby cousin some encouragement, man. He going off to school. I'm dropping him off tomorrow, so this is last video. So y'all let him know how he did this summer. But uh, that's all I got for y'all, man. Please like and subscribe. Jay Anthony, out. <laughs>